What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Luciano TV. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Cut the jeans over here, whipping something up in the kitchen. We're gonna be eating healthy today. I never ate a turkey burger, and that's what she got going on right now, a turkey burger. Meanwhile, I got some Cheetos and hot sauce. <laughs> I've been working all morning, man. It's about one o'clock. Since about 9.30 this morning, I've been recording. I did about three or four, about four or five features. One day, so quick, so fast, with Olympic speed. Don't forget, today is the last day for the winter sale on LucianoTV.com. And also, all our winter merchandise will be coming off the website tomorrow. No more hoodies, no more beanies. Till next winter. You might wanna go take advantage of that. Cause they gonna be gone. Gone with the wind, man. Welcome back to Luciano TV, the realest, most livest channel on the planet. Uh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it's not red because it's turkey. Ooh. Stop, babe. Don't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the turkey burgers ended up being disgusting, you guys. Fail. I don't even know. I don't want to judge people that eat healthy, but... How the hell do y'all do it? Cause it straight tasted like they got the whole turkey. house smelling like leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I was like, I was mad. I was so key mad that he would, he didn't want to eat it. I was just like, I'm sitting here trying I didn't to even be. Take one bite. <laughs> I was like, I'm sitting here trying to be nice and make lunch and be on some healthy stuff, and you don't even want to taste it. Until she tasted it, she took one <laughs> bite and spit it out. Oh God, it just tastes like straight up turkey. Like, not even cause I like seasoned it or like put mayo and butter and cheese. I put two slices of cheese just to like try and filter the turkey taste. And it was just straight turkey taste in my mouth. I couldn't do it. <sighs> um, <clears throat> Have y'all watched our last video, you guys? If you haven't watched our last video where I am acting like lucky for 24 hours, y'all need to go watch it. And we are sorry we didn't upload yesterday, but you know what? <clears throat> like he's been working hard. We've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes too, man. We got some big uh, things coming up in the near future. So y'all stay tuned for that. Yeah, and I really just wanted to just relax. I felt like I... You know what I'm saying? I came through with that one vlog. <laughs> so yesterday I took it upon myself to just relax and take care of Houston while Lucky took care of some other business outside of YouTube. <clears throat> okay, so we made a stop before we go get some rub and we got a little something something. Shout out to the Lucha gang. The shipping center from our fan mail. So yeah, shout out to Luchi Gang. Shout out to Daniel Lopez and his girl. Go ahead and open this on camera so y'all can see how spoiled we are. <laughs> oh, I think she went on my registry. I posted the link to my registry on Instagram. Oh, this is so cute. What is it? It's a little baby book. Oh, this is so cute. Thank y'all so much. This is cute. Who sent 
Danielle. Shout out to Danielle. I already appreciate you, Danielle. Daniel. 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 Oh, Daniel. He's a boy. Yeah, and his girl. Oh, that's nice. Look for your it's, baby brother. Is it a picture? Is it a, what is it? Oh no, it's like to write, huh? Oh, this is so cute. Well, thank y'all so much. So somehow we ended up at Bay Fusion, one of our favorite Vietnamese places. Lucky is drinking some it's hot. hot, hot tea. It's hot. I told you it's hot. It's hot. Don't touch it. And he's just drinking water. I think I got sick. I think Kelly's illness got me sick. Hope not. This is yours. But anyways, when we got here, I had to run in the restroom and wash my hands like <coughs> for like five minutes straight because they smell like straight turkey. Uh, it was disgusting. Whoa there. I forgot to record the food, you guys. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Not that I forgot, but Houston did need my phone to watch oh. YouTube. And like he was on the phone on a business call, so it was just kind of like too much going on. But it was delicious. Man, I feel like I'm getting sick, man. I ain't having that. <sighs> she done got all the way better, and now I feel like I'm getting it. Still kind of congested, but I have been like releasing it all, and I have still been taking my antibiotics um which he is not taking as well but i think we're gonna head back home you guys wait wait for the kids to get home i'm on my way to go pick up my son from school right now my 15 year old the one who don't like being on the blog i tell you what though taking care of your kids and being a good parent, you know what I'm saying? It teaches you how to put somebody else first before yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it teaches you to be a better person. And I know my parents out there feel me on this. You know what I'm saying? I got six kids and one on the way. That's seven. Seven children, man, that I take care. I take care of all my kids. Seven kids. But that has helped me be a better person. It's helped me be a better individual. I couldn't afford, I can't afford to be out, you know what I'm saying, partying or drinking and smoking and doing what I used to do because I don't, I couldn't, I just can't afford to do that, you know what I'm saying? I can't afford to be, you know what I'm saying, just out taking trips to Miami with my homies like I used to. I just can't afford to do that no more because I got all these kids, you know what I'm saying? But that's helped me be a better man. It's helped me grow into be a man. That's what has helped me be a man is having these kids, you know what I'm saying? It's helped me be a better person because when you got a responsibility like that to have seven kids to provide for, you really got to be on top of your game, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't easy. And I know my parents out there, they got big families, they feel me, you know what I'm saying? I went to go talk to a young man yesterday. A lot of y'all don't know that my, my dad is a minister. He didn't always, he wasn't always a minister. When I was growing up, he was far from a minister, you know what I'm saying? But thank the Lord, he changed his life around, you know what I'm saying? And I that, I mean, it's not my story to tell, that's his story to tell. Maybe one day I'll get him on here and he'll tell his story. But yeah, he changed his life completely around and now he ministers to ex-cons and uh, drug addict, people that are addicted to drugs and he goes out and ministers to them and talks to him, you know what I'm saying? Let him know that that's where he came from and he changed his life around and that's what he does. Anyway, he hit me up and told me that uh, yesterday morning that there was a young 18 year old boy that was in a um, sort of like a, a mental hospital or something, he was going crazy. 
basically he was on a lot of drugs doing a lot of drugs and just thugging in the streets and he wanted me to go holler at him so i went to go talk to him and the first thing i told him i was like man you know it's better than this place here you here for maybe a week or something but it's better than being in prison and he told me no nah, i'd rather be in prison that's how messed up the mind state of the youth that are in the streets they think it's nothing wrong with going to prison because all they homeboys is in prison and they like man you know what i'm saying i'd rather go to prison anyway he told me that he would rather go to prison and that's how messed up their mindset is that he'd rather go to prison than be in that hospital where there was had group therapy and had uh, doctors there and had uh, medication to get him off his drugs but he didn't want to do it. And he said that he even tried praying at night, but when he went to sleep, he still had dreams of the devil trying to get him and his family. And that, so he basically was saying that the prayers ain't working. And I told him, he only prayed one time. That's like just going to the gym for a week and thinking you finna get buff and muscles everywhere and be, you know what I'm saying? All walking around with your shirt off. It takes time, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put in the, the time. It's it's a constant fight, it's a constant battle. You, if the devil got a hold of you, he ain't finna just let you go like that. You know what I'm saying? He already got you. So you gotta fight hard for that, man. So that's what I told the dude. I told him you gotta keep it up. You can't just pray one time and think it's gonna heal you, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm gonna stop and get some gas before I run out. Kids got back from school. Here's the stop. It's my chair. He's over here punking Gigi for the chair. Anyways, I just finished recording a vlog for my channel. It was like a get ready with me slash Q and A. So comadres, go check that one out. Uh, Lucky actually had to run and go get um, Elijah from school, our oldest, because he stayed after school for some reason. Um, it's looking pretty dark outside. Kingston still has not got back from school, but he should be getting here sometime soon. I want to show y'all what it looks like out here. It's pretty cold, but it looks like it's going to rain. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it is cold. Come on, go inside. It's cold. Come on. Like he has said something about trying out this new pizza place. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll figure it out once they get back home. I just walk in the house and I got Houston pulling my finger to tell me to go one way. I got Gigi calling me for homework. What homework, Dad? Project, my bad. <laughs> I got Kelly Jean, I don't know what Kelly up to. I was waiting on you to get back. Okay, let me help her with her project. They're gonna be like, is this the only sweater Gigi has? How does pollution affect what? How does pollution affect the future of koalas? The future of koalas. Yeah. When did they become an <laughs> endangered species? Are koalas even endangered species? Yes. Oh, I never knew. I uh, made me a koala jacket. Are they? Google it. I didn't know that. We don't have koalas over here. I just got done reading a book today. I finished a book and I would recommend it to Lucci Gang. It's called The Slight Edge. Great book. Yeah, I just finished it and now I'm starting on a new one. I've set and met my career goals. I'm having tremendous professional success but it's cost me my personal and family life. I don't know my wife and my children anymore. I'm not even sure I know myself. And what's really important to me, I've had to ask myself, is it worth it? Are you watching TV and drink your bottle? We all have dreams of making it to the top, but when you get there, if you don't have the people around you that really love you, what's the point? Was it really worth it? <laughs> Pizza's here. Get off the
the couch, Leah. Hey, 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 what you think that is, a trampoline? Come over here and eat. See, we gotta take a break. I've been helping Gigi with her project. And we gotta take a break because the pizza's here. Hold up, before we eat and close out this video, let me get my birthday shout out. Can't forget about the Lucci gang, Lucci gang. Y'all been staying down this whole time and we appreciate it. And we just wanted to let y'all know we got nothing but love. Well, you ain't getting dead. Oh, it smells good. So they just opened this new uh, pizza place down the street. And oh, we got this is some the stuff thing. in the mail. This is the thing that we got from Can I give a shout out so I can eat my pizza? <laughs> Say, I want to give a shout out to Jose and Destiny for just having a baby yesterday. Their baby's one day old. So shout out to y'all. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Shout out to Eric Garcia. Happy birthday to you. Hold on, hold on. Shout out to Sambo from Rosenberg. Happy birthday to you. Shout out to Josiah Reyes, turning 11 years old. Happy birthday to you. Michael Kane Flores, happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah, she told me hurry up. Happy birthday, shout out to Vana from your husband, Jermaine. Shout out to you. Shout out to Aries from Tucson, turning seven years old. Happy birthday to you. Azalea, turning 13 years old. Happy birthday to you. Man, it's a lot of y'all with the birthday today. I better not be lying. Shout out to Damian Torres from San Antonio, Texas. Happy birthday to you. Joseph Silvers, happy birthday, my guy. And I want to give a special shout out to Natalie Pineda, who, uh, her husband and her uh, nephew and daughter was in a bad car accident and she sent me some pictures and the car was towed up. But thanks to God, they got through it. They got out the hospital and everything was all right and looking on the up and up and they came across Luciano TV and she said that was brightening up her days when their family was in the hospital. So we just glad we can spread that positivity to y'all and y'all can, you know what I'm saying, brighten up y'all days a little bit with this content we bring to y'all. So shout out to y'all, man. Hope y'all have a great night and a great morning. I will be back tomorrow morning with my motivational speech. So y'all stay tuned for that. But for right now, I'm finna eat this salad right here, man. I might have me a slice of pizza, but I got me a salad, man. I'm trying to eat healthy, you know what I'm saying? Get that that one. Ew, that's a whole bunch of olives. I ain't eating my salad, man. Y'all save something for Kingston. Kingston's at a football game right now. Thank you, Jesus, for this food, for my family. I love y'all. We love you too, baby. All right, bye. Tell them bye, Leah. Leah. Bye.